Rob here from the Flanagan Homestead. Uh, my sales have been really good during the winter, much better than I thought they would be, and uh, I'm wondering why. So uh, let's go through a couple things, but I'm restocking my uh, firewood stand I found, and I mentioned in a previous video, if I have five bundles and somebody wants four, they won't stop and buy them. But if I have 10 bundles in there, they seem to stop more often. Even though I have not run out of bundles in the firewood stand, <laughs> The sales are a lot lower if there's only a few bundles in here. So I'm trying to get a bunch more in here. But I got a call last night that someone bought all 16 bundles that I had in here uh, at $5 a piece. So that is really expensive for firewood. I mean, my bundles are the cheapest in the area. But if you're buying that much wood, buying them in bundles, that's pretty expensive. And if I knew who it was, if he's trying to... Uh, heat a home or whatever, uh, I would happily sell him some that are unbundled uh, and get them to him at a better price. But uh, so the firewood sales have been really good. And so this guy and all the other people that are buying uh, my firewood, are they um, trying to heat homes? Are they just having picnics outside even though it's winter time, but like today it's a nice sunny day and you'd enjoy it outside? And going up this road is the main road to the Marble Mountain Snow Park and people with snowmobiles go up there and a snowmobile and it's my guess that that's part of it. You know, people like to start a fire back at camp and uh, go ride their snowmobiles, take turns, come back, eat something, have a fire going. So I'm thinking that's what it is. But I, I honestly hope it's not people that are trying to heat their homes because they're paying too much for bundles if they want to buy that type of quantity and like I said I'd like to sell it to them a little bit cheaper but uh, uh, to give you an example of how much firewood I'm selling during the summers and this is a major camping area going up the river here I typically sell a little more than hundred dollars a week in bundles of uh, firewood so which is pretty good uh, in the winter I expected that to drop off significantly but I'm gonna give you some statistics that I've been taking and I've been doing quite well and uh, not quite as good as the camping season of the summer, but I am doing well. And uh, maybe you <laughs> can uh, give me some ideas of uh, or why you think people are still buying really good in the summer. Obviously, there's heating the homes, but like I said, you should be buying cords of wood to do that, not bundles. All right, the sun isn't going to do this video any uh, favors, but uh, you'll get the idea, the shadows and everything. So I have some statistics that I have written down right here. I'm a stats guy. I try to keep track of things. Uh, so November 21st, that's the week of Thanksgiving, but just before Thanksgiving, I collected $45. The 23rd, I collected 20. 27th, right after Thanksgiving, I collected 35. Uh, the 29th, I collected 20 more dollars. December 1st, 20. December 6th, $40. Uh, December 10th, 25 more dollars. December 13th, $15. And December 16th, which is today, I collected 80 more dollars. So from the 21st of November till the 16th of December, which is today, I have collected $300 out of my firewood stand. So uh, that is less than a month and $300. And I thought during the camping season uh, in the summer when I was doing $100 a week or a little over $100 a week, I was doing really well. But obviously something's driving people to buy. Uh, and again, I hope it's not they're trying to heat their home. I can sell you a cord if you want to do that. Don't, don't be buying bundles for that. Also, I've been raiding my own firewood uh, shed up by the house. I normally try to keep two years worth of firewood in there, so I have plenty to spare. I have a ton of firewood right here that's uh, curing and I haven't put a moisture meter on it. It's real close to being dry enough to sell, but I haven't tested it but uh, I've been just emptying out my firewood shed. So this year's worth of firewood is almost gone for my house. And then I'm gonna start it next year's, but uh, I'm gonna quit doing that soon because I wanna make sure come, uh, you know, February and March, I still have firewood to burn and here we are in December. So I'm gonna go test the moisture level of the firewood up here, but one way or another, I'm gonna have to stop using all the firewood that's in my shed to keep my house warm. But uh, as always, thanks for joining me on the Flanagan Homestead, where Christmas trees are my business, teaching and cleaning horticulture is my job, and outdoor projects are my passion. Hope to see you again soon, everyone. Be blessed.